Good afternoon. This is Ron Brown. Uh, it's uh, 20 minutes until the market closes on the 11th of July. I'm going to do a quick uh, market insight, just a very, very brief video on about uh, or using HGS Investor, using HGS Investor to look at uh, the advancing versus declining issues. Now, the market's getting hammered uh, if you're looking at the NQ futures or the comp, but when you really take a look at the market, it is a strong market today, and I'm going to show you that uh, using HGSI. Okay, so once again, any stock index or ETF mentioned in this presentation presentation is not a recommendation to buy or sell. All trading strategies are used at your own risk. Now I've got uh, HGSI running with Thinkorswim updating the uh, information every five minutes and uh, I'm currently in the S&P 1500. Now what I've done for Insider Club uh, members, I have moved uh, the major indexes up in my market analysis user groups to the top of the list and uh, uh, these indexes are also in HGSI under the reference groups but I update mine weekly. So mine are, are more current than in HGSI. They get updated uh, more like monthly. I do mine weekly. So if you want the latest make sure that you're using these indexes under major indexes which you'll find in our market analysis user groups. Now I'm, I'm clicked on this right here. I'm going to go ahead and close the warehouse and uh, I'm going to go up under tools and I'm going to rebuild the indexes in the group. So I'm rebuilding the Dow, the NASDAQ, the composite, the 100, the Russell and so on. You can see all of them here. And then I'm going to transfer them to the warehouse module and I'm going to I have to make a change here. I'm going to go into my central warehouse views, top down scorecard views for HGSI generated index analysis. These are generated by HGSI. They're equal dollar weighting. I'm going to go down to number three. Uh, this is advancing issues uh, versus or divided by declining issues. And I'm going to take a look at this. And if you look closely, you can see that. For the S&P 600, which is at the top, 95%, almost 96% of the stocks are advancing, only 3.75 declining. The Russell 2000 is 94.66, 493 down. These are all strong. Let's look at the 1500, 1484 up, 870, 1484 up. I'm sorry, there's 1484 securities in here that are over $5. And out of those, what, 89% up, 10% down. The issue is the semiconductor stocks, only 6.67% up and 9.33% down. The NASDAQ 100 is, is positive, 53.92 up and 46.8 down. Now, I've kind of uh, messed this up with this uh, arrow, but I just wanted to show you how strong this market is. I want to erase that and uh, let's take a look here. So here is the strength now you can see the price is just updated so let's let's go down within uh, the S&P 1500 which contains the 600 the 400 and the 500 so I'm going to change to that index group and now I'm going to go into my favorite daily prospecting scans and I'm going to go into intraday money flow and I'm going to sort on industries. Intraday money flow stocks with a percentage industry as the sort. And you can see where the strength is. Home builders, wood building materials, metal service, one of those, home office, home and office furnishing, recreational vehicles, biotech, and so on down the list. And you can see how much these industries are up just after uh, the updating process that I did. Now, let's go to the other side of this. Sorted on industries down. What do you have here? We have computer hardware, semiconductor manufacturing, semiconductor devices, 
And those are the big groups, internet-based services and so on. And you can see that these groups here are up, though, but there's money flowing out on these stocks the way I've got it set up for myself. If a stock, I'm going to go back to money flow up, sorted on industries. If a stock is above 50% of its daily range, I consider that to be money flow in. And you can see the intraday range on these stocks here. And if I reverse that, go back down to money flow out, you can see the intraday range here. These are all below 50%. So that's the way it works. Uh, this is the extent of this video. I just want to show you uh, the power of HGSI in conjunction with using these major indexes, which are updated weekly. Thank you for listening. Have a good Friday.